All right, whenever you're ready. Hello, my name's Wade, Wade Mann, and I'm a traditional owner. On the land we meet today, the Drumble people have been the carers and protectors of this land for the past 50,000 years. I'd like to start off by knowledge me elders, past and present. As we all know, our elders are the most important people in our community. They're the keepers of our stories, our history, our past, and hope to bring the young people into the future and make them better role models for tomorrow. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Bapadu. Bapadu is our God, creator, the maker. He's the maker of the land, the people, the oceans, the seas, and the animals. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Butteroo. Butteroo's the green tree frog. He's my totem. He's part of my dreaming, part of my believing. All the Aboriginal tribes all over Australia have got totems that represent their tribes. As I said, mine is the green tree frog. So he's the bringer of the rain. Before the rain comes, we'll hear him croaking. And when the rain goes, we'll hear him celebrating. So without rain, you do not have water. Without water, you do not have life. So he's the substance of all life on earth. He's a very important part of our existence. Also, welcome the country is a very important part of Aboriginal tradition. All the Aboriginal tribes all over Australia for tens of thousands of years have done welcome the country. To welcome people onto their land, it's about having respect for the land and having respect for the people of that land. The Drumble area we take in a vast part of central Queensland. We go out west towards the Gaganga Range, down south to Raglan Creek. We take in most of the 27 islands and oceans out to the east. And we go up north to the Styx River. There's a small town there called Ogmore, where I was brought up with my grandparents, my uncles, my aunties, my cousins, my brothers and my sisters. And we learned a lot of our traditional ways and did a lot of our traditional hunting around that area. Within the Drumble area, we've got four major tribes. On the other side of the Gracemere, we've got the Warrigal tribe, which goes out towards Gaganga Range, up to Marlborough and down to Raglan Creek. Where we are now, we're in the Tanoogal tribe, which takes in Grace Mare, Rockhampton, Raglan Creek, Indy Park, Yipoon, and up through the wetlands on the other side of Uasaki. Then up along the coastline, we've got Ninjambul, which goes up to Townshead Island. Then up around the Shellwater Bay area, we've got Kurumbara, which goes up to Ogmore, out to the Pichora River, and back to the wetlands on the other side of Uasaki. If one tribe wanted to go on to someone else's land, they'd come up to the boundary and they sit there in a semicircle. Two or three women would go up to those men and light a fire. They'd go back to the camp and then three or four men would come and join that circle. They'd sit there in silence and after a while they'd start wailing and crying and they'd start laughing and joking. Then the tribe from that area would invite them in. If they were there for a ceremony or a dance, they'd exchange gifts such as spears or boomerangs or different artefacts. Then the tribe from that area would go to a pool room, which is a circle on the ground about three or four metres in diameter, usually covered around by rocks. The tribe from that area would go into that pool ring and start dancing. After a while, they'll invite the other tribe in. The reason they do this, they say, you're welcome. You're welcome to our country. Why you're in our country, you're protected. Protected by Bapadu, our God, our ancestors and our elders. And why you're in our country, you will always be protected. So this is why the Aboriginal people of Australia are the longest continuous living race of people on this earth. Because they always had protection of the land and looked after the land. So by me doing a welcome to country for you here today, for you here on our country, you will be protected by Papadua God, our ancestors and our elders.